So what the hell are you calling here for, Antonio? I don't understand why you're mad, Luisa. Wow. <laughs> well, that's really generous of you. Uh, especially since you ran out on Mama and the rest of us at a time when we needed you most. Look, I didn't call to fight with you. I just want to see Mama. That's it. Don't argue. Just tell him. You're still as selfish and self-centered as you always were. Look, why don't you do us all a favor? You just stay the hell out of our lives. You got nothing to offer us. Nothing. Couldn't this both be wrong, Tavi? We've been through this, Timmy. The scroll says something horrible will happen at the Crane Mansion. Something horrible will happen. Oh, I can't wait to see what Ivy's got in store for Sam and Grace. And let's not forget Teresa. She's definitely headed for disaster. Ah, what we have to do now is find a way into the Crane Party. And the Bennets are our ticket. <laughs> But, Tabby, Jimmy's a real boy now. He doesn't want to take part in anything evil. You already agreed to come with me. We're a team, remember? Tabby, look. Coach and Dr. Russell. Good. We can tag along with them into the Bennets. Come on. Come on in. <laughs> it's really starting to smell out there, huh? Mm. Oh, my God. A white New Year's, just as it should be. Oh, Tabitha, I didn't see you out there. <laughs> well, neither did we. Well, we just got here. Oh, come on in. Okay. <laughs> Tabitha? Your doll? Yeah, he's... This isn't my doll. This is my grandnephew, Timmy. Grandnephew? Tabitha modeled her doll after him. Mm -hmm. Well, how did you know that? Well, we already met. Well, <laughs> welcome to Harmony, Jimmy. Jimmy's a real boy. Oh. oh, well, of course you are. Well, yeah, well, what are we all doing standing out here? Uh, come on in, everyone. Grace, you're never going to guess what happened. Ivy Crane invited TC and me to a party at the Crane Mansion tonight. <laughs> and I know you guys feel the same way we do about the Crane Mansion. And there's no way in hell that we will ever set foot in that place again. Actually, uh, Sam and I are going to Ivy's tonight. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> and I was hoping that you would go too. Hi, Mom. Hey. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Mom. Mom? <laughs> um, do you see Eve, Tabitha, and, and Timmy? I would like to introduce you to my son, John. A son who will bring grace. So, Teresa is in the abortion clinic. And I've got pictures to prove it. I can't believe my good luck. Tonight, I will destroy Teresa and make sure she is kept out of Ethan's life forever. I looked everywhere for Teresa. Did you have any idea where she might have gone for her? No, I have no idea. Well, I mean, she knows we're supposed to spend New Year's Eve together. You know, I just don't know why she didn't tell me if she was going somewhere. Teresa. <laughs> How did you know that I was? I um, I called your mom. She had no idea where you were, but um, I had a feeling that you might be here. No more arguments, okay, please. I've, I've made up my mind. And I didn't come here to argue with you, Teresa. Um, 
I just wanted to be here to support you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Look, I, I know that, that you don't approve of this, okay? <laughs> I don't want to do this either, but... Look, if Ethan finds out that I am pregnant with Julian's child, I'll kill him, I'll spend the rest of his life in jail, and I can't let that happen. And I, I could never... I could never let... Julian raise his baby. Teresa? Are you ready? <laughs> Would you hold on a second? <laughs> oh, what the hell is going on here? My Foz! Your Foz? I am Mrs. Julian Crane now, and everything in this house belongs to me. Oh, and to Julian, of course. Oh, we'll just see about that. I already have, Ivy, my sweet. The lawyers have prepared all the necessary paperwork. You're going to be out of here before you can say Ming Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> this is still my home, Julian. I am still Mrs. Crane, and there is no way you're going to make me leave. You are as good as gone, Ivy. And now, Rebecca and I are planning a very um, special, very private New Year's Eve celebration this evening. Mm -hmm. In our room. And we don't want to be disturbed. And not that you would know how to find my bedroom anyway. <laughs> no, don't worry, Julian. I wouldn't dream of going anywhere near your room. The very thought of it makes me ill. <laughs> Every sort of her in it makes me ill. I am going to give that woman a piece of my mind. No, no, no. We'll deal with her later. Right now we have more pressing needs to deal with. <laughs> <sighs> Are you still there? Would I hang up on you, Mrs. C? Especially when I got another little nugget of news for you. Hmm, tell me. A friend of Teresa, Whitney. She showed up a few minutes ago and went into the clinic. All right, stay and get as many photos as you can of Whitney and Teresa leaving the clinic. I'm on the case, Mrs. C. Oh, no. Oh, no, I just realized if Teresa has an abortion, then she might not come to the party. No. No, no. There's no way she wouldn't show up. There's, there's no way she could explain to Ethan why she wasn't with him on New Year's Eve. And she knows I'm closing in on her. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to call attention to herself. She's desperate to keep up appearances. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not following you. I'm just, I'm just talking to myself. Okay, I'll talk to you later. You just bring the photos to the mansion as soon as you can. Tonight, I am going to get rid of Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald for good. And if Luis is here, and he finds out that Julian got his sister pregnant, and that she had an abortion, Luis will kill Julian. Oh my goodness, so many phone calls. Who to call first? <laughs> Teresa? No, no, Ethan, it's me. Oh, hey, Mother. You were expecting a call from Teresa. Where is she? Uh, I don't know. She just disappeared. Oh, 
Well, she's probably just out buying a dress for tonight. Uh, she would have told me. Well, a gift, maybe. Something special for you for New Year's. Yeah, well, that must be it. You know, Mother, I I'm glad you're trying to mend your ways with Teresa. It means a lot to me. Mm, well, speaking of mending relationships, darling, I've decided to throw a New Year's Eve party here at the house. I I've invited... Uh, Sam and, and Grace, several other people, and I, I would just love it if you and Teresa could come, too. Um, well, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, Teresa and I were planning on spending a quiet evening together. Well, Ethan, there there is another reason I would like you to come tonight. Julian has sent his cutthroat lawyers after me again. You know, he's trying to get me out of the house, and I, I really need your legal expertise, so you will come, won't you? Damn. Julie, look, all right, I I'm not going to let him do this to you, Mother. Then you and Teresa will be here, right? Yes. Uh, look, I'll, I'll just leave a note for Teresa, and then I'll be right over. Oh, good. Um, would you mind asking Pilar if she could come and help with the party? As a matter of fact, why don't you just invite the entire family as my guests? It would be so lovely if Luis could be here, too. Well, I'll tell her. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, darling. Oh. <laughs> Tonight will be one harmony we'll never forget. Are you ready, Teresa? I'll be here for you when you get back, okay? This way. <laughs> What's going on? My brother doesn't want me anywhere near the family. Well, keep trying. Because your family is too important. I want to see Mama. You listen, Antonio. This family has been through a lot of pain lately. We don't need you adding to that. We've already lost enough. You know, you're right. You're absolutely right about everything. I was selfish. But now I want to make amends. You're not listening, Antonio. It's too late for amends. Look, I want to see Mama, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that she wants to see me. Now, am I wrong about that? No, but... Look, it's just not a good idea, right? I don't want you hurting her again. Luis? Who are you talking to? I'm sorry, did you just say your son? Yes, this is John. <laughs> now I have another son. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? This is the son the scroll spoke of, Timmy. Grace's life will never be the same. She's going to go through hell. And we'll be right there to watch. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grace. I, I don't understand. How can John be your son? I know. It's a bit of a shock. I, Eve, I just found out myself. Um, David and I had John a few months before I went to Boston and lost my memory. Before Sam rescued me from the fire. So anyway, um, David is working for Ivy. He's going to be taking pictures at the party tonight, and since John wanted to be with his father and his mother for New Year's, Sam said it was okay if we went to the party. Besides, the girls are going to be at the youth center tonight. Well, I want to do whatever makes Grace happy. If it means I have to set foot on enemy territory, well, 
So be it. Thank you. You know, finding out that I have another son after losing my baby, it's like... You know, it's like a gift from God. So I can't imagine anything that would make me happier than to have my best friends at a party to help me celebrate this. All right, Grace. We'll go. Just for you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I guess we all better get ready, huh? We don't want to be late. Right, yes. Um, listen, uh, John and I are going to go back and get cleaned up, and um, we'll see you over there. Okay. Bye, Mom. See you. Ivy's plan to tear Sam and Grace apart is about to explode. <laughs> Poor Grace. <laughs> Can't wait to get to that party, Timmy. Shaping up to be everything that the scroll predicted. Forget it, Ivy. I will not let you use John in some sick plot to get Sam. I will not let John think that he's finally found his mother. David, I am giving your son something he has dreamed about his entire life. You should be thanking me. For what? Grace isn't his mother. It's only going to cause him pain. Damn you, Ivy Crane. Damn you for what you're doing to my son. And Grace. Who's on the phone, son? Where are Ethan and Teresa? Ethan left. Um, Mrs. Crane is having a party at the mansion. She asked me to work, and she invited the whole family. <laughs> well, me at the Cranes? I don't think so. I understand. Though it would mean a lot to me to have some of my children near me on New Year's. Oh. Right. I have to change. If I don't see you, Happy New Year, son. Oh. Happy New Year, Mama. <laughs> You still there? I heard Mama. Can I talk to her? No, she's already gone. Look, I know my mom wants to see you. So, uh, if you want to see her, you can. Thank you. Don't thank me. Okay, tell me when's a good time. Well, there's a party at the Crane Mansion tonight. She'll be there. Wait, she still works for them? Yeah, we needed the money. Look, we're all invited, so... I guess that means that you can come. Oh, well... Well, I... What? Well, what, are you gonna go to the party and see my mom or not? To be honest... I don't know. So first you wanna see her, and now you're not sure. Well, you're some piece of work, brother. You know, I'll tell you something. I'm gonna go to this damn party tonight. Just in case you show up. Because I want to be there for Mama. I'm gonna make sure you're not gonna hurt her again. What, you think I'm gonna hurt her on purpose? Now you listen to me, all right? I'm not gonna have you playing with her emotions again. Building her up and then knocking her down. And you can see Mama if you want to stay in her life forever. If you're not gonna do that, and you just stay away, Antonio. Right, you just stay away. Well, you going to see your mother? Keep thinking about what my brother said. I don't want to hurt her again. Brian, you won't. She wants to see you, and you're dying to see her, but you've got to take the first step. Okay, I'll go. You're making the right decision. I have a favor to ask of you. Will you go with me to the party? I can use some support. Of course I'll go. Thanks, Diana. You know, even though there wasn't 
anything here for me in Harmony. At least I'll get to see you reunite with your mother. And I'll get the chance to give your brother a piece of my mind. I'm so glad that you changed your mind and decided to come. Yeah. <clears throat> You're thinking about Sheridan, huh? Oh, well, we passed her cottage driving in, and, uh, you know, everything just came back. Yeah. How I wish that the miracles we prayed for to see Antonio and Sheridan again had somehow come true. Right. Um, like, listen, Mama, I just, just want you to be prepared for tonight. What do you mean, son? You know how these crane parties are. Strange things always happen, and I just don't want you to be surprised. I've worked for the cranes for many years, son. Nothing surprises me anymore. I'm going to go into the kitchen and see what needs to be done. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. okay? So you are damn well better not hurt my ma. Sheridan? Please. Oh, Louise. <laughs> Why can't I just let her go? Just get her out of my mind. I can't wait for Luis to find out that Julian slept with Teresa. Because when he does, Luis will kill Julian on the spot. <laughs> Finally. Well, I'm glad you brought your cameras. Just what exactly are you planning tonight, Ivy? Oh, you just snap your pictures. That's all I want from you tonight. Photos. I'll take care of the rest. You just leave my son. Ah. Wonderful. You're all here. Now the festivities can begin. Grace, Grace, Grace. Who is this handsome young man? Festivities better not start until Timmy and Tabby have got front row seats for the fireworks. Fireworks? Timmy loves fireworks. No, you twit. I'm speaking figuratively, never mind. Grace, a, a son. I, well, that is just so thrilling. <laughs> yes, isn't it wonderful? Well, I cannot tell you how happy I am to meet you, John. Nice to meet you too, Miss Crane. Oh. Tabitha. Oh, Ivy. It's terribly kind of you to invite us. Your parties are always so memorable. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Well, um... Tabitha, your doll. Oh. This isn't my doll. This is my grandnephew, Timmy. <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, Timmy. He's a real boy. Well, yes. Yes, of, of course you are. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm just, I'm so glad you could all make it on such short notice. <laughs> well, I'm just glad I could spend this evening with my son. Oh. Hello. Nice to see you, son. Hi, how's everyone doing? So where's that wonderful fiancé of yours? <laughs> yes, where is Teresa? Well, hopefully uh, she'll be here soon. I've left messages for her all over. Um, Mother, can I have a word? Um, There's something wrong, darling. Well, I, I, I'm really starting to get worried about Teresa. I, I haven't heard from her in hours. Oh, well, I'm sure she's just with a friend. I mean, have, you, have you called Whitney? No, I'll, I'll try again. Hello? Uh, Whitney. Hey, it's Ethan. Yeah, I, I haven't heard from Teresa uh, for hours. Have you talked to her? Uh, y yes. Um, 
I'll be seeing her in just a little while. Well, I, I just wanted to let her know, and, well, and you too, that my mother's throwing a New Year's Eve party here at the mansion. A party? Well... <laughs> yes, and uh, my mother really wants her to be here. Well, and so do I. Well, you, you'll come too, won't you? Sh sure, yeah. Great, great. Well, I'll see you later. Oh, uh, Whitney and Teresa are coming to the party. Oh, wonderful. made the right decision, Brian. You won't regret seeing your mother. I know you won't. Ironic, isn't it? My mother at the Crane Mansion. The reason I left Harmony the person responsible is at that mansion. When we meet up again, I want to be prepared. No. No, I'm going to see my mother after all these years, and I don't need to take a gun. Julian, you told me you were going to stay in your room. I never expected to see you. Certainly not this much of you. Oh, this party's going to be more fun than I ever thought possible. <laughs> you know, seeing Julian make a fool of himself almost makes coming to the mansion worth it. You know, I just wish we had it on videotape. <laughs> Sweetheart, listen, I'm going to go and find a phone and call the youth center and find out how the kids are doing. Okay. Follow me, Tim Tim. Time for some New Year's fun. The only thing that worries me, Sam, is, is why did David wait so long to tell Grace that she had a son? Well, you're not the only one who's suspicious. But I don't want to confront David and spoil the joy Grace is feeling right now. Yeah, you're right. Let her be happy. You guys are rock solid. Nothing's going to separate you two. Can I get you anything? Something to eat, Mom? Oh, no, I think I'll wait. Hey, do you hear that? That song, it's my favorite. <laughs> no kidding, it's Dad's favorite. You two should dance together. Please, for me. I'd love to see you two together. Um. <laughs> well, what's going on? Teresa's still inside, but she should be coming out soon. I can't wait for Teresa to get to this party. I can't wait to pay her back for all the pain she's caused me. His mom is having um, a party tonight, and um, I, I know you're feeling not feeling up to it, so. Oh. oh, God. Oh, no. No. I can't miss it, Whitney. You know, it'll, it'll only give Ivy more fuel if I'm not there. I have to show up. I can't let Ethan think that there is anything wrong. Honey, you can't feel up to going to the mansion right now. 
guys with me. I have to be there. Okay? Come on. Let's go. This is a party. Come on. Come on. Mother, did I hear you say Teresa? Who are you talking to? Oh, I called the, the gatehouse. I just wanted to know if she'd arrived yet. Oh, well, has she? No, but I'm sure she'll be here soon. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, it's getting close to midnight. I don't want to miss kissing Teresa at the stroke of 12. This is going to be a, a whole new year for the two of you. It's going to be the best ever, by far. I don't want to hurt you, Ethan, but this really is for your own good. Please, Mom, go dance with Dad. How <laughs> can I say no to you? You know, I should tell Sam. I don't see him. Oh. Dad, I asked Mom if she danced with you to this song. I, I know it's your favorite. Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't think... What a lovely idea. Well, yes, uh, he really would like to see us dance together, David. I'm glad you're having a good time, Sugar Bear. Hey, I'm not too late, okay? All right, I love you too. Bye. What's Princess going to do? Stir up a little trouble, that's what. And still have some magic dust from Hecuba's lair. Watch this, Timmy. Whoa. Just what the hell are you doing at the Crane Mansion? This place, it all seems so familiar. Could I have been here before? Answer me, TC. Why are you here? You know my death was Julian's fault. He took away your tennis career, ruined your life, and it broke my heart. When? When are you gonna pay that son of a bitch back? Instead of partying in his house, you should be seeking vengeance. Seeing your father again is tearing TC apart. Riling up his anger again, bringing it to the boiling point. Once it explodes, who knows what he'll do. Attention! Attention, attention, everyone. It's nearly midnight. It's time for the countdown. Okay, everyone. Excuse me. I couldn't have asked for a better mom. She's great, isn't she, Dad? Sam, Grace, would you like to leave the countdown? Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, everyone, grab a glass of champagne and get close to the one you love. Ooh. Teresa's here. Oh. I was so afraid that you weren't going to make it for midnight. You all right? You look, you look pale. Nice party. Never mind that. Just show me the pictures. 30 seconds. Oh, these are perfect. Luis, you are going to love these. 
I feel so close. It's this place. So many memories. Gone. Forever. Get some air. This place. Why does it all seem so familiar to me? No. It's impossible. I, I've never been here before. Come on, Brian. Let's go. Well, Diana, I have been here before. And I regret every second that I've spent on these grounds. I never would have left Harmony or Mama if it wasn't for the cranes. Damn Julian. Mortifying. Oh, just humiliating. Oh, I hate Ivy. You know she planned this whole thing. Oh, what a rotten way to start a new year. But then, looking on the bright side, this is probably the worst thing that's going to happen to me all year long. <laughs> what could possibly be worse than this? <laughs> Four, three, two, one! Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Uh, a happy New Year, son. <laughs> I was so worried about you. Is everything all right? As long as I'm in your arms, everything is fine. 